Hey guys, check this out. Unicorn file fish for Tasty Tuesday tonight. But what's cool is you gotta see how he caught them. All right, you guys. I'm using a mahi-mahi for bait. And I just throw it out here and let them chew on it a little bit. You can see them all down there. Here's a big one right here. Just like that. Now that, that is one delicious fish. And they have this little tiny mouth, you see that? And all they do is they go along and just chew flesh off the bone. And uh, they come up in herds. So will you throw him on ice? He can't hurt you. Good. We're gonna be eating file fish tonight. And all I'm using is this gaff, just like this. Wait till they get up close to the surface. Just like that. <laughs> no hook needed. Here comes a big one. There he is. <laughs> now let me show you what they do. I was just cutting a little bit of the tail portion. They come in. They eat the meat right off the skin, eat it off the bone, and uh, we got them iced up. I'm gonna show you how to fillet them. All right, you guys, so how awesome are these fish? They just swim around with their little swimmerettes and they use these little gnarly teeth just to chew the flesh right off the bone. But, like yesterday was a really slow day of fishing. Anytime you can get a box full of, of a unicorn file fish, you're in good shape. Let me show you how beautiful the meat is. I left my good fillet knife on the boat. I'm like, darn it, but good thing I got this bony knife here. There's why they call them a unicorn, because they just have a little unicorn just like that. Does it sting you like a cat? No. And some people call these leather jackets because their their skin literally feels just like leather. I think it feels like a shark. Yeah, you could say that. how beautiful and white the meat is. Just like that. Snow white filet. There's the skin. Here's the filet. And look how beautiful that is. Nice. Thick, thick filet, and that's a little bit of the muscle. That'll just come right off. And then you can feel of it, no bone there. There's just a touch of pin bone right here. She's ready to cook, and I'll just repeat the process on that side. Okay, potatoes are peeled. Now you gotta dice them off so that they cook faster. All right, so while our sweet potatoes boil, throw a little salt in there, and then the fish, and I cut it into portions that are easy to cook. I do it like that right there. There's your bottom piece. Especially when I'm doing a fish fry. I have been blown away with how many people have bought Everglades after watching deer meat for dinner, especially Tasty Tuesdays. This is the all time most easy recipe. That's a little bit of the no MSG, lower sodium Everglades original. And this fish is so fresh, snatched right out of the water like a ninja. <laughs> and we'll just throw it in this flour, dredge it in this flour just like that. Anytime I'm in a rush, I make a mess. <laughs> you know, when you watch cooking shows that have a big budget, there's like people cleaning, you just throw it in bus pans. When you're at Camp Arrington, we do it all ourselves. So sometimes I make a big mess, and sometimes not so much. Okay, so I'm always trying new stuff. Now, 
This is called House Autry. It's a hush puppy mix with onion. Now, I love, love the taste that these make as hush puppies. So, I'm gonna take my fish. I went flour, now egg. Now, I'm gonna throw it right in here and we're gonna coat it with that House Autry hush puppy mix. This is the way I roll. I love cooking by the seat of my pants. Just throwing stuff together. Who cares? Let's see how it turns out. And now what we're gonna do is just, voila. Get it all come together, it'll stick nicely. Now look at this. Look at Remy. Remy's sitting out in the yard with the ball right next to her, waiting for us to come out there. <laughs> She is like posted up. I didn't see that arm. Share the arm. Share the arm of the chair, I mean. Now, here's all our fish coming out. A key, anytime you're crusting fish like this, whether it be with coconut or nuts or panko breadcrumbs, after it's crusted, let it dry, let it settle down and it'll stick much better when it's in the grease. All right, sorry about all that noise. Every time we film, we have to shut the AC off, otherwise it's like bah! Anyway, uh, potatoes are boiling, green beans are getting hot, time to throw the fish in the oil. Check this out. Nice. key is here, we want all the breading to stay on the fish. All right, so this is perfect. Our fish literally smells like a hush puppy. Beautiful. What is a hush puppy? Hush puppy is just like basically fried dough. I don't even know a good way to explain it. Simple, 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 y'all. I hope you understand that this is really fun. What I'm thinking about doing, thinking about having some kind of fun video contest, or not even a contest, just some type of fun video where you guys submit video of y'all using whatever you like to use, making some food, and, uh, and then we'll use it in a video. I'm more involved and more, I, I want to know more about y'all. I don't so much care about the other YouTubers, I care about y'all. And I would love to get you guys involved in the video more. And I don't know how to do it. Like this particular video, we had Clint Howe and his fiance, um, Teresa, out with us. And the fish weren't really biting that well at all. Mm, look at that. So what we've got is, Brown sugar, a little half and half, some butter. This is my precious little daughter, Aria. My happy daddy and my lips healing. I've been putting Neosporin on it. We're talking heaven here, folks. Heaven. And a sleeping baby. Lord, thank you so much for this day. And thank you for this food. And thank you for my wonderful family and all of our blessings. Please, nourish it to our body and forgive us of our sins. Please, thank you, man. She's actually kind of holding back. Oh, she, Aria's literally holding Mama's hand right now. All right, hold that fish up. Let me see how white the, I mean, gosh, you guys, I don't know. I don't know if y'all can tell, that's just white, Ooh. flaky, heavenly, okay, wait, Friday I'm... night fish fry, baby. The sauce is really nice with it. Hold on, wait, this is one of our subscribers. 
He's just, he didn't, I don't think he knew he was going to, going to be on Tasty Tuesday. Is that one of our subscribers? Yeah, that's one of our subscribers and he's like, oh my God, they got the video camera. Look at that. Smash sweet potatoes, green beans, a la can, and fresh fried fish. I really like the breading. Do you? Mm-hmm. How do you like, like the lot. sweet potatoes? Mm. Good like olives. <laughs> I love sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are like, ugh, oh, so good. So, in the comments below, let me know if you guys want us to put together some type of fishing trip where we have a bunch of drift boats or like charter boats where everyone can come in. We can have like everybody go out for a day of fishing, come back, have a huge fish fry at a local park. And just be like a local meet and greet. Here in Florida? Yeah, here in Florida, right here in Jupiter. I think that would be awesome. And I think we should do it. So let me know what y'all think about that. And we'll go from there. But as for now, this was winner, winner, winner. Unicorn file fish for dinner. <laughs> we gone.